Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions. How does this book here? The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 244 and today is our lesson number 143. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 7. We are given three sets of simultaneous equations and our job of course is to solve them. The very first one is problem number 7 as I said. They told us that x plus y equals 24. They also tell us that x minus y equals 18. It's a very straightforward, simple scenario because of the fact that the coefficient of the variables are exactly the same, plus 1 and plus 1, and here actually it's even better, plus, and plus 1 and minus 1, they're going to cancel each other out if we add the two equations. So that's what we're going to do. We add the two equations, plus x and a plus x, it gives us 2x and a positive, positive y and a negative y. <coughs> This positive y and a negative y is going to drop out and we're going to end up with 2x equals 8 plus is 2, 31, 42. Unless I'm mistaken. And therefore, x equals 42 over 2, which of course is 21. Now, if x is 21, this is a very simple equation because of the fact that we are told that x plus y equals 24. And if x is 21, y must be 3. That's it. That's your answer. Or if you or if you want to solve it properly, if you want to solve it properly and if you want to be a stickler about it, you will show the proper work. So x is 21 and y from this equation we know, from the first equation we know is 24 minus x which is 3. And of course, this only takes a only takes a couple of seconds to verify it because it's such a simple scenario. 21 plus 3, 21 plus 3 is 24, and 21 minus 3, x minus y, 21 minus 3 is 18. So there is no need to actually write everything out. It it it, it works. Let's do next one. Number two. It was a very simple scenario. Too simple, in fact. I don't think you will see something as simple as that on the exam. three x minus y equals negative five and x plus two y equals positive three. Now something like this you will see on the exam. This is not as simple as before because of the fact that the coefficients are different. This one has a coefficient of plus one, this one has a coefficient of plus three, this one has a coefficient of negative one, this one has a coefficient of negative two, they are all different. So let's call this equation one and equation 2. And our job now is to make the coefficient of one of the two variables, either x or y, make the coefficients equal to each other so we can cancel each other out. So let's do that. We could actually multiply the second equation by 3. We can multiply the second equation by 3 and we get 3x and 3x here and get rid of x. Or we can multiply the first equation by 2, making it negative 2 and a positive 2. Let's do that. Let's take the first equation equation 1 and multiply it by 2 and that implies 3 times 2 is 6 so we get 6x negative y times 2 is going to give us negative 2y and a negative 5 times 2 is going to give us negative 10 so we're taking we're taking our first equation this equation right here and multiplying it by 2 and that gives us 3x times 2 is 6x negative y times 2 is negative 2y negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 and here's our equation number 2 Equation 2 implies x plus 2y equals positive 3. So here we didn't have to do anything. We just copy the equation 2 the way it is. And that's all. Let's see what happens. We get a negative 2y here. We get a negative 2y and a positive 2y. A negative, positive, negative 2y and positive 2y will cancel each other out. And we add them up. A positive 6x, a positive 6x and a positive 1x is going to give us 7x and 7x will equal 
a negative 10 and a positive 3 is going to give us negative 7. Divide both sides by 7, and what we find is that x equals, what we find is that x equals negative 1. x equals negative 1. Let's put this value of x back in one of the two equations here. Which equation should we put it in? Doesn't really matter. Let's put it in the first equation. Equation number 1 implies, equation number 1 says 3x minus y equals negative 5. Bring the y to the other side. Bring the y to the other side. You get y equals to 3x. I'm, I'm going too fast perhaps. Let's see what did I do in my notes. That's what I did, but I'm going to slow down here so that we can actually follow it. I'm adding y to both sides, and I'm adding 5 to both sides. Add 5 to both sides, and add y to both sides. That's what I'm doing. I'm adding 5 to both sides of the equation, and I'm adding y to both sides of the equation. y cancels out, and we end up here negative 5 cancel out positive 5 and we end up with y equals to 3x plus 5 y equals to 3x plus 5 and of course we know x is negative 1 so 3 times negative 1 plus 5 equals y and y equals 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 negative 3 and a 5 it gives us positive 2 well, those are our answers. X equals x equals negative one and y equals positive two. All we have to do at this point is simply go back to our equations and verify, make sure that these, these are in fact the right solutions, which is what we're going to do now. I need the room, I need a lot of room, so we're going to erase a lot of this stuff. Equation one was 3 times x, which is negative 1, minus y, which is positive 2, minus y, which is positive 2, negative time, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and negative times positive 2 is negative 2, and negative 3 and negative 2 does in fact equal negative 5. It works. It works. Let's see if the second equation works. Let's, let's put it here. Equation number 2 implies x plus 2y equals 3. x plus 2y equals 3. Is that what it was? x plus 2y equals 3. That's right. x is negative 1 plus 2 times y, 2 times positive 2. 2 times positive 2 is positive 4. Positive 4 and negative 1 is indeed, it should have been positive 3, that's right. Because we get negative 1 and a positive 4, which equals positive 3. It also works. So these are the right solutions. y equals y equals 2 and x equals negative 1. The third one that they give you here, it's a pretty, it's a bit, uh, bit involved and I don't want to start it right now because otherwise the video is going to be too long. The reason why it's, it's been involved is because we have to do a lot of juggling, a lot of moving things around and making it into a nice standard form be before we can actually start our work. So we'll, we'll save it for tomorrow. I'm done for today. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 144 where we'll do 7, 7C. Okay? Bye now.